Hey everybody, it's uh, Aaron here again from Countryside Acres. We are back out in the field. Uh, I have not taken much footage the last couple of days. I'm actually, my phone broke and uh, just got a new one here now. So we're, uh, we're back at that again. We have been doing stuff in the meantime. Instead of the cab tractor because we had some mechanical issues there it needs to go into the shop and get the brakes fixed uh, if you recall those who have been watching I guess for a while probably remember I did a video on that there we'll shut the noise off I did a video on that oh shoot I don't know before we left Saskatchewan anyway how we had an oil leak on that tractor and uh, there's a rubber boot that holds the oil back and there's a rod the brake rods go through that boot into the rear diff and because the brakes need to be done so badly there's too much travel in that rod which wore out the boot and then all your hydraulic fluid dumps out uh, which is not good to drive around with of course because there's no fluid in there to bathe all the in internal parts so that happened again just as i was finishing up uh, mowing this field and um, just when i got home basically although the farmer said he's seen a little puddle in the field uh, there was no trail down the road until i was in the yard and then it blew and all the fluid came out so thankful i made it home that far uh but it does suck it has to go back in the shop that's like a i was quoted about 4500 bucks from case to do that so that uh that's unfortunate but it has to be done i guess can't go without it so we had to make this tractor ready for bailing and uh it works i guess i had this bracket here ready for the monitor that was on there uh, so the monitor slid in the power supply was no good i had to improvise that I've actually added a uh, just standard cigarette lighter plug. I've got a USB port now too, so I can charge my phone. This is the power supply for the actual, where are we, for, this is it. 12 volt power supply for the bail monitor. This tractor did not have one of those on it. And uh, I could not find one. The two dealers that I talked to here, uh, both did not have one. And I called one up in the north, because I had to go up north yesterday to pick up more meat. And they didn't have one. So I ended up going with just a uh, the cigarette lighter style plug and uh, did that instead. Alright, I don't remember exactly where I left off. The phone actually died because it was so hot. Uh, the warning came up there and it would not film because it was too warm. So I was talking about this power supply anyway. So I put that in there. Just buy that at Canadian Tire. You can buy it anywhere I guess. But now I have a USB for charging my phone and the cigarette lighter for uh, charging this guy. Now there's an inline fuse. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right spot there or not. I hope so. But there's an inline fuse in there and uh, I didn't reckon with that. It's a very light fuse. So the first bale I tried to make, the power supply goes, it sends 12 volt power from there up to my bale monitor. And from my bale monitor, it sends it over to the baler so that when the bale's big enough and it's full, it automatically ties. And two arms will come out and start putting string on the bale. And then, uh, they move up to the outside and then it cuts the string and it's done and then it can eject the bale. And that's all done with an electronic motor. Uh, I didn't count on that. So anyway, I blew the fuse, first bale out in the field here. Uh, and yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I obviously don't have fuses. So it's one of those times where a farmer has to improvise. I did find a uh, piece of metal in the back here, a piece of wire. It's actually from a little round clip that I managed to straighten here and uh, snap a piece long enough to jam in there to replace the fuse. I don't actually need a fuse for this. It's never used to have a fuse. It just was directly, it's got built-in fuse inside of here. So it's not like it'll it'll uh, hurt it or anything. Uh, but that way I can bypass this little glass fuse and keep going. So yeah, little things you gotta run into. If you're not familiar with baling, we've got lots of dry hay here. The Amishman just raked this with his horses. Put it on uh, three rows on one, or no, two, two rows on one. It's very, very thick crop. Uh, it goes in the baler, got the tractor here, I'm driving over the rows. 
it goes up inside the baler here spins around in circles no not that way that looks kind of funny this way inside the baler once the bale's big enough i can set that on the baler the alarm will go off on my monitor it'll beep at me i'll hit the brakes and uh, then it'll automatically start tying the strings on and when that's done i open it up and out comes the bale so this is a big round bale of hay nice feed it's beautiful stuff like look at the green in there i've seen people bale stuff that looks more like straw which is yellow uh, this is very very good quality hay so yeah uh, other than that i don't know what else i can tell you about it i guess we've had this bale for quite a while it's long paid for itself in the amount of bales we've done and uh still hanging in there she's getting older she's got a bunch of rust showing on there now but it works and there's not much point in trading it in because i don't need anything fancier at this point for ourselves uh, there's a few things I have to watch for. One is the uh, the little sensor that activates the whole tying procedure when the bale's full enough. It's been sticking lately, so I'll probably have to replace that at some point. Uh, aside from that, everything's been working pretty good today. So, yeah, I've got, oh, about four acres baled so far. Roughly 16 acres to go. 17 acres. Uh, to go yet and then we'll be done this and that's all we've got today it is a cooker out here in the hot sun i wish i had my other tractor with the ac but um, as somebody told me not too long ago that's rich man's problems well, there's lots of guys that have to do it this way and the Amishman sitting on his team of horses there ain't gonna ain't get any better but it is pretty dusty here i probably should have wore a mask or something um, there's a bit of a breeze so as long as that's going it blows most of it away but it is hot and sunny. I got myself a hat there to keep my ears from toasting. And uh, other than that, yeah, it's pretty enjoyable. It's nice, calm out here. Beautiful hay making weather. We've had, oh, almost three weeks now. Just beautiful weather. A little bit of rain here and there, but nothing major. It's just been uh, just a really, really beautiful summer so far for making hay in this area. Anyways, so uh, soon we'll be on our own land. We're hoping another 12 days, I believe, where uh, until we take possession. And then we can start cutting hay there. So we're all looking forward to that and getting ready to go. But in the meantime, we're going to get some more work done. another rare treat folks he came out to do some raking uh, I know they do not like the pictures taken so I'm gonna be respectful and just stay back here but uh, anyway he is raking hay 
the last couple of rows there was a couple of short rows there that he couldn't do and uh, so he's getting them now that I've got the outsides done I think it's just beautiful it's a cool sight and sorry the camera's moving so far again I'm zooming in pretty far but he is, uh, he's over the other side of the field there raking. He's probably wondering why I'm standing still here. <laughs> oh, anyway, he's raking hay. Yeah, it looks good. It's kind of fun. At least I think so, it looks fun. He's busy raking that. Three horses pulling. I don't know a darn thing about them, so I don't know how that works, how you get them to go straight or what, I don't know idea. But it seems to be working and he knows what he's doing. And then he's got, uh, that's a rotary rake we running on an engine. It's not wheel driven that I know of. Some of the ones there are. The reason the camera's moving so far is because I am zoomed in. So like an eighth of an inch movement here is like one inch on the screen. It flops all over. Thought you all might enjoy that. I do. All right, guys, that's that field. I've got uh, about seven and a half acres left now, I think. I'm not sure how many bales there are. I didn't bother counting them. There's a counter on the bale, or I'll look later. Uh, it's kind of important because I bill by the bale. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go to the last field, and oh, got hay stuck in my mouth. <laughs> it's definitely dusty. I see there's another guy down there in the distance. He was baling. Uh, with no cab too, so I'm not the only guy eating dust out here, but it's a blast. I uh, appreciate y'all watching. If you're down in the States today, it is independence for you guys, so enjoy your day off. We had our uh, our July 1st day already, although we can't do a whole lot due to this corona thing, so we just uh, worked, same as I'm doing now, and if you're a farmer down there, I'm sure you're working too, so uh, enjoy, and uh, we will catch you all again on the next one. God bless, and talk to you later.